Okay, we're tied for the division lead right now with uh, Georgia, Florida, Tennessee, all of us. Uh, but I guess conference play starts. And obviously, you always have a big one with Georgia, but we've also learned that the winner does not necessarily win the Eastern Division. Uh, it does put the winner in pretty good shape, but uh, doesn't always certainly uh, determine the winner. So we got to go in there hoping to play our best hoping to improve upon last week's game and uh, beat a team that was, what, preseason number five? And uh, I don't know where they'll be. The voting, I guess, was today. They're 11 now? No, oh, okay. But uh, I guess they're still favored over us. And uh, see if we can play a little bit better than we did last week, and I'm sure they're going to try to do the same thing. Uh, but it should be a huge game. I think it's another sellout, national TV game. So it's always one of our big ones of the year, as we have several. And uh, our team's pretty healthy, I think, right now. I, th I think Buster Anderson's going to try to get back playing. Bruce Ellington's 100%. And uh, defensively, I think most of our guys are healthy and ready to go. Coach, how do you anticipate uh, Jadevi and Clowney to come out and play in this game? Well, hopefully JD's ready to play. I, I think uh, the one thing he learned is that the camera's on him all the time now. It wasn't on him last year. Uh, it was on him on the replays after he made sacks and big plays and stuff like that. But uh, now every every play, the camera's on him. So he knows that, and uh, hopefully he's ready to go. It was a hot day last week, as we all know. And uh, sometimes the heat affects people different ways, but it affected him, no question about it. And... Uh, Hopefully we can get him a little bit better prepared uh, physically uh, to, to go the distance uh, against Georgia. Do you expect a big progression in the passing game from week one to week two? For us? Well, I certainly hope so. And uh, But uh, we weren't really all that bad last week when we, when we threw it. <laughs> we took off running a few times. But uh, we should get a little bit better. Should... Uh, as the season goes, as the receivers come around. This is Connor Shaw's first start mm -hmm. in Athens against the Bulldogs. I don't know if you talked to him mm -hmm. any about it, what his feelings are about it, and how he's mm -hmm. feeling right now. Yes, it's his first start going into his home state. Uh, hopefully he will not be too fired up. Quarterbacks have to think. They have to make quick decisions and so forth. Uh, so hopefully concentrating on what he needs to do uh, will be what he uh, takes his focus into the game with, uh, the decisions he has to make. Uh, obviously, anyone that uh, goes back to their old, their state to play, uh, there's an et extra specialness to that. What would you tell a young guy like Mike Davis, who's mm -hmm. coming off of a big game, going back to his home state? He's already said he's going to be pretty fired up to go mm -hmm. back. Do you try to temper any of that, or do you just let him? A little game? bit, a little bit, um, but still... Uh, Naturally, you have a little extra special when you go to your back to your home state. All of our players do. Uh, so Mike is uh, he's looking forward to it. And, you know, sometimes you can look forward to something so so much it doesn't work out very well. So you have to be cautious about that. Uh, Mike is is not responsible for the win or the loss. Our, our entire team's responsible for it. Uh, so football, as we know, is the ultimate team sport. One player, one coach. Not going to determine the winner. Usually, it's usually going to be a group effort. So, hopefully, Mike's ready to do his part, though, which uh, could be very significant. We've just talked about uh, trying to win us a ball game and uh, keep pursuing a lot of goals we've had this year. You know, we're we're going to try to win the division, and uh, this is a crucial game there. Uh, so that's that's basically what we're talking about. What we need to do to try to beat these guys. Uh, all of our players know what our goals are. So that's uh, that, that's something you don't need to talk about too much, and uh, just talk about playing your assignments the best you can. So we started thinking about Georgia, oh, pretty much when the North Carolina game was over, and uh, try to. We had uh, Willie Nelson's Georgia on my mind blaring yesterday. <laughs> most most of our players thought it was Ray Charles, but it was Willie Nelson. Uh, we always, but we always play that every week we play Georgia. We, we always put that music on during, during stretch. So that's all we're trying to do, trying to uh, get Georgia on our mind, the plays we think, they'll give us a chance to beat them. Uh, they're a good team, and uh, 
they'll they'll be ready for us. They, you know, they got beat last week, so they they'll be ready to really play.